Good evening, I'm Paula Akana. And I'm Laura Yamada. Thanks for joining us. Boaters and harbor users came out tonight to protest planned wedding chapels at the Alawai Small Boat Harbor. Now, it's part of a redevelopment plan aimed at generating more revenue for the state. It would be built on two sites along the Alawai Small Boat Harbor next to Magic Island. KITV4's Jody Leong joins us live with the plan and the protest. Jody? Paula, a Japanese company called Honey Bee USA originally wanted to build a nightclub at the harbor, but it determined the plan was inappropriate for the site. Honey Bee says its planned wedding chapels will be much less intrusive. There is a steady flow of Japanese wedding parties at Magic Island. Honey Bee USA wants to capitalize on the Japanese wedding business by building two chapels across the waterway at the Alawai Small Boat Harbor. It's an odd combination, but it's a way for them to make money and pay the bills. The State Land Department chose the Japanese-based Honey Bee to lease and improve two sites at the Boat Harbor. It'll pay the state $564,000 a year with incremental increases over a 55-year lease. Attorney Keith Kiyuchi represents Honey Bee. He outlined preliminary plans at a Waikiki neighborhood board meeting tonight. This is really part of making better use of state lands. The first site, the boat repair facility next to the Hawaii Prince Hotel. We're redeveloping that into a mix of a boat repair facility and a commercial development. Honeybee plans a two-story wedding chapel here for up to 25 guests and a three-story retail space with shops and restaurants. The second site, the fuel dock and convenience store, where Honeybee plans a two-story building complete with a new convenience store and offices on the first floor. Another wedding chapel and meeting facility on the second. With a two-story observation deck on the top for the the boating people to use. Boaters at tonight's meeting lined up to express their opposition and their concerns. Dave Cooper says the land is intended for recreational use for boaters, kayakers, and surfers. It's probably not in keeping with the spirit of how the land was originally deeded. Others say they're not against the wedding chapels. They're concerned the plans currently don't include sufficient support services for boaters. It's a fake boat yard is what it is. Give the boaters a boat yard, give the boaters a fuel dock. What they're doing is all smoke and mirrors. Kiyuchi says he plans many more community meetings. He says Honey Bee is taking boaters' concerns into consideration as it creates its development plan. Reporting live, Jody Leon, KITV4 News.